I've been with Boys and Girls Clubs for 37 years, and in reflection, I don't ever recall a time where we've faced such daunting challenges, not only in terms from just a day-to-day -day operation, but in terms of what kids and families are facing. Everything from school being out to parents who are unemployed, trying to make sure that the kids and families have access to meals and food. This is just one of those hopefully once in a lifetime occurrences. It's really testing everybody at all levels. When all the school closures started, we identified very quickly that medical workers, medical personnel, first responders, and then a significant amount of working families needed emergency childcare. We had a lot of situations where working families had exhausted all of their sick and vacation leave and had no other alternatives. So we extended our program operating hours. Right now we're serving about 45 families on a daily basis. You've got a lot of kids who are scared. And I remember it was similar with 9-11. You know, kids were not quite sure what they were seeing on the news and how to interpret it. And especially if they've got parents who are working and they're looking for answers. I think being able to come alongside them and help explain it, help alleviate some of those fears, let them know that this is temporary, we're gonna get through this. That's definitely something that's been interesting. It's just trying to help kids understand it, cope with it, and hopefully deal with it. Today we're doing a creative cooking lesson with Cody and Connor, and I hope you all understand. I think the other thing that's been very inspiring is you've had a lot of entities that have had to come together in a very short period of time to try to figure out how to help one another.